So today we're going to be looking at the integral of uh, a function of the form k f dash of x over f of x. So <coughs> we know integration is the opposite of differentiation. And we know that if we've got a function f of x, which is the logarithm of x, the def derivative only exists, well, it, the logarithm only exists for x greater than 0. And we know that the derivative of the log of x is 1 over x. Now, this means that... Say we've got a function and we want to find the integral of it and it's f dashed of x over some function f of x dx then this must be the log of f of x, the modulus of the function f of x plus c because if you were to differentiate the the, 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 the um, log of some function f of x, that would be equal to the derivative of f dashed of x over that function. And so that's where we get this from. Now we can extend this to make it a more generalised um, function by if we had some, func some constant k multiplied by the derivative of f of x then that would equal to oh, dx. The k would, would be carried through and then we'd have the log of the modulus of the function plus our um, constant of integration. So let's look at this um, in some examples. So, so we've got this integral 2x over x squared plus 3 dx. Now, let's look at the bottom one. This function f of x, x squared plus 3. If we were to differentiate it, we would get 2x, which is what we have up here. So the integral of this would therefore be the log of x squared plus 3 plus our constant of inter integration. Now, we're going to find the tangent, the integral of tan 3x dx. Now, this doesn't look like the form of things that we are actually looking at just now, but let's think about what is the tan of x can be written as the sine of x over the cosine of x. So we can rewrite this as sine 3x over cosine 3x. Now, <coughs> let's think about this. If we have some function cosine 3x, its derivative is going to be minus 3 sine 3x, which is very close to what we have here. So how can we get this to be in this form, minus 3, minus 3 sine 3x. So let's put in minus 3 sine 3x, which looks like we're cheating, but we're not going to, because we're going to have to, this is not equal to that. But to make it equal to that, we can have, we can take out another constant here of minus a third. So minus a third times minus 3 is just going to equal 1 and that brings us up to that. It's a bit of a sleight of hand so with some of these like this one here you would you're having to think up outside the box and do these kind of little tricks to make them equal and then we've got our dx. So now we can 
integrate this. So we've still got our minus a third. And now we've got we're gonna have the log of the modulus of cosine three x plus c. Um, <clears throat> now with these ones you're having to get used to really paying attention because you wouldn't look at this and think it came from that initially. Um, but as you practice them, you'll get used to some of these little tricks. Let's do another one. So we want to find the integral of 3x squared plus 5x over 2x cubed plus 5x squared dx. Now let's look at this function underneath. So we've got f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared. And if we differentiate it, we get 6x squared plus <coughs> 10x. And again, we look at this and we think that's very similar to what we've got here. But we've got a 3 here, a 6 here, a 5 here and a 10 here. But if we are, if we half this and then put in our derivative, like this, we have the same thing. These are equal. Now we can just, we can do the integration. So that would be our half. And then we've got our log, and then we've got our modulus of 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus c. Now let's do, uh, let's find the, the value from 0 to 1 of 2e to the x over 1 plus e to the x, oops, dx. Now we know with our function... 1 plus e to the x, its derivative is e to the x. Um, if we take the 2 out here, this is like our k, 1 to 0, we have e to the x over 1 plus e to the x dx, which is what we were, what we want to deal with. So we've got our 2 log 1 plus e to the x between what 0 and 1, which is going to give us 2 log 1 plus e minus 2 log 2. Because log e to the 0 is 1, so that's 1 plus 2. There we go. Um, and this gives us, is tidying this up using our rules for um, logarithms. With 1 plus e over 2. So I hope that helps.